Sagittarius and welcome to me Tarot L. Today we're going to be doing your weekly reading for September 26th through October 2nd. I pre-shuffled so I'm just going to go through these real quickly. I'll cut the cards and we'll begin. We're also going to be pulling one Oracle Spirit Animal card. To help you throughout the whole week, what animal energy will be with you to help you get through your reading. All right. All right. Let's begin. You have the Seven of Wands, the Two of Pentacles. In reverse here, and the King of Wands. <laughs> and you got the Wasp Spirit. Quite a few of, the, of you have gotten the Wasp Spirit this week. <laughs> All right, so let's begin your reading here. Okay, the beginning of the week here, it should have the Seven of Wands here. It looks like, um, looks as though, um, things have been coming at you, coming at you pretty, uh, pretty fast, and, and you're defending yourself, um, or you're going to be blocking something. You're defending yourself. You know, you're trying to push away some something. You know, he is standing on top of a mountain. You can see some rocks down. You can see some rocks down here. So you're pretty on pretty rocky ground, and you're trying to defend yourself for some in some situation. So then we look in the middle of the week, and um, middle of the week here is the Two of Pentacles. And, you know, juggling a lot. You know, the, the Two of Pentacles is the same reading whether it's upright or in reverse. It means the same thing. So you seem to be, uh, towards the middle of the week, kind of... You're just teeter. You're just teetering like you're on a, a seesaw. You know, going up and down, up and down. Um... With your thoughts, possibly from this situation here that you're trying to defend yourself on, um, you know, it's just showing you that you know, try to keep, you know, try to keep your your thoughts and your words and your deeds, all that, um, in motion. You know, try to keep it in balance here. You know, don't let whatever um, was coming at you earlier this week that you're defending yourself against. Um, you know, get stuck, you know, get stuck up here in your, in your head, see how tall his hat is, <laughs> don't want to get, you don't want to get all that stuck in you, you know, just try to balance it out, try to balance the good and the bad out, um, but don't think too rough, don't think too roughly, you know, there's a lot of waves down here, you know, you kind of want to keep the waves a little more calmer, so try, don't think off, don't think too hard on the, on the, on your problem back here. Just you want to keep yourself in balance. Then the King of Wands has shown up towards the end of the week here. The King of Wands, he is looking he's looking out. Um, well actually when we have them together. like this. You know, the King of Wands, he's he's looking out he's looking out after he's looking after you for what was going on in the beginning of the week here. And he's he's looking on, he's holding his staff high and mighty and tall, saying that um that you know as well keep yourself keep yourself in balance and um You'll overcome what these uh, 
what you were trying to block or defend yourself against. Um, it's just there to remind you that, um, you know, to um, just be, you know, be, be proud of yourself and don't let the others um, throw their sticks at you, throw your sticks at you. Um, he is, you know, I mean, he is sitting pretty comfortably here on, on his throne. He doesn't have any arm rests, so, but his arm is, this, this arm here is up some. You know, he, he's kind of, sort of, kind of in a way getting ready to, to take off. But he, he's kind of laid, he's laying back some. He's laying back, um, because the wands are all about fire. They're all about fire. And, um, you know, they're, they're fighters, but, you know, he's just saying just to lay low, you know, sit back and, and just observe. Just observe. And make sure you keep balance this week and be observant of uh, this confrontation that is coming towards you or the, uh, you know, the, the blocks that you seem to be um, guarding yourself against. You know, just keep yourself in check and balance. And then you have the wasp here that says sometimes life stings. And so the wasp is just here to remind you that sometimes, you know, sometimes things don't work out as we plan. But, um, but they always will at the end. It'll, it'll sting. It'll hurt for a while, but it will, after you hurt, you know, you learn from it and you overcome it. And that is why the king is saying as well, you know, just to, to um, you know, sit back and observe. But be ready if it really need to be, to be ready. Just go ahead and sting. But, you know, try to keep yourself balanced. Not, not bring on uh, any more of this confrontation against yourself. All right, so that is your reading. You have a great day, and hope to see you again. Bye now.